Hello and welcome to this video where I'll be showing you how you can use the skins feature in Spine. Now before I start, I'd quickly like to point out what skins should be used for. And skins are a convenient way to make a group of attachment changes. However, attachment can be changed at runtime, so this is not their main purpose. Instead, skins are for reusing all the animations for a character that has the same skeleton but looks different. If I go to the uh, tree here and expand some of the bones, you can see that we have the left double leg here, then we have a slot on the left double leg, and then we have an attachment. And on the attachment, there is an image. Now, if I go down here to the skins node and expand that, we have two skin sets. We have the goblin girl and we have the goblin. Now, currently, goblin girl is visible and you can see here the path for the image on it is Goblin Girl and then left double leg. If I activate the Goblin, the path will change to Goblin left double leg. So I'm just going to go into animate mode and press play here and switch between these skins. Now currently it's animating with the Goblin active. So I'm going to switch it to Goblin Girl. And as you can see, it is now animating with the goblin girl instead but also the weapons are still the same now if i pause the animation here and go back into setup mode and then select the weapon here i can go in and set the visibility on uh, the spear to be visible instead and then go back into setup mode hit animate again and switch to the goblin and the spear will not change. This is because, uh, as you can see, there is no attachment visible on the uh, weapons here. Another thing to notice in this animation here is that the eyes are blinking. And if I switch to Goblin Girl again, you can see that the eyes are still blinking. And now, if I go and, and find the head here so we have the torso the neck and the head then we have a slot here called eyes and we have an attachment called eyes closed and all in this uh, attachment there is an eyes, eyes closed image and you can see from this blinking key here that this is when the eyes will actually be blinking now if I switch to the goblin it will be the exact same the important thing to note here is that without the skins, the eyes closed image change key is specific to how the character looks, so you'd need a separate animation for the goblin and the goblin girl. So I'm just going to create a new project here so I can show you how you actually create the skins. The first thing I do is I go up to the tree and I select the skins node and then click the new skin and I'm going to call this one for a goblin and then I'm going to create another one and I'm going to call this one for Goblin Girl. Then I'm going to expand the images and find the goblins images. I'm just going to show the bones. And with the Goblin Girl visible, I want to find the Goblin Girl um, images first. So I'm going to create a new slot on the root. I'm going to just going to leave the name to be root. Then with the slot selected, I'm going to create a new skin attachment. I'm going to call this one for head. With the uh, head here, I'm going to drag up uh, the head image, drop it on the uh, attachment. And now we have the image attached to the head attachment here. Then I'm going to switch to the goblin skin and find the goblin image and drag the head up here on the slot and now if I switch the skins it will change the image I'm just gonna minimize this and as you can see I'm now changing the image so I hope this has been useful uh, if you have uh, any requests for any features that you'd like to have covered in Spine uh, please uh, uh, make a post on our forum and I'll try to cover them as soon as possible. So until next time, have fun using Spine.
Bye for now.